Hello, my topic is proof of Kutovsky theorem. The theorem states the graph is planar if and only if it contains a subgraph that is a subdivision of either K5 or K33. Recall that K33 and K5 are non-planar, and we can prove these two graphs are not planar by using the Euler formula. Here are some lemmas which we will use in the later proof. Lemma one is every subgraph of a planar graph is planar. Lemma two, every subdivision of a non-planar graph is non-planar. And in the textbook, we learned that every supergraph of a non-planar graph is non-planar. So what is subdivision? A subdivision of an edge is the operation where the edge is replaced by a path of length two. The internal vertex added to the original graph so here is an example. The graph is adding new vertices into the edges. So the graph of K5 is after subdividing edges. So actually it's similar to the one we learned from the super graph. Lemma three, let G be a two connected graph and UV are the vertices of G. Then there is seed a cycle in G that includes both U and V. And what is two connected graph? Here is a definition for it. A graph is called two connected if it is connected and has no cut vertices. So we can simplify this definition by saying a graph is two connected if it cannot be separated to two components by removing one single vertex from the graph. And a cut vertex in a graph G is a vertex V such that if we remove the vertex V from the graph G, then G has more components than G itself. Now we can start to prove the theorem. And here is a if and only if statement. So we need to prove, prove it from two directions. So the first direction, we suppose the graph G does not contain a subgraph that is K5 or K33. So from the previous lemmas, we know that every subgraph of planar graph is planar and every subdivision of a non-planar graph is non-planar. And we already supposed G does not contain a subgraph K5 or K33. So which means the graph has no non-planar subgraph. So it implies the graph is planar. The second direction, we suppose there is this non-planar graph that contains the subdivision of K5 or K33 as subgraphs. So in this direction, we try to prove it by contradiction. First, we let G has the fewest edges and we remove any edges from G to get planar graph as a counterexample. Claim one, G is too connected. So we now we assume that G is not too connected. Then there will be a C, a cut vertex somewhere in G. And we take the graph as example. So here is a cut vertex. And we remove this vertex, we separate the graph into two pieces. But we can see the graph is still non-planar. So which contradicts the counterexample? So in this case, G must be too connected. And claim two, 
sheet does not contain any vertices of degree two. So suppose there exists a vertex V and we try to show degree of V smaller equal than two and prove the claim by contradiction. So the vertex V can be degree zero. But in this case, V is disconnected in this case. And if degree of V equal to one, we connect UV to vertices. And in this case, U will be the cut vertex in the graph. And if degree of V equal to two, we need to consider two cases. The first one is U and W are adjacent. So first we set up this subgraph. A uh, less subgraph be the graph with removing the vertex V. So we draw the diagram with UW since they are adjacent and we embed the vertex V into the graph and connect UV and UW. In this case, we can see UVW is a plane and the graph is planar which contradicts that G is not planar. So consider the second case, U and W are not adjacent. And we set up the subgraph H and let H equal to G minus V plus UW. And the subgraph X looks like this. And if we try to add V into the graph, since UW are not adjacent, so we can replace the UW edge by embedding V between the two vertices. So here is V. And we can see the graph is still planar. So it's a contradiction as well. So, we, and also we can see like the three vertices has at least degree of two. So we prove that G does not contain any vertices of degree by contradiction. Claim three, G has an edge UV such that G without the edge UV is too connected. So from the previous claims, we removed the edge UV from G to get the subgraph edge. And edge is planar due to the minimality of G. And edge is too connected graph by lemma three. So there is a cycle in edge including UV. So now, we form a cycle C here, and we want to make sure that cycle C is the maximum loop containing UV. If we build a path inside the cycle, we can see the region of this cycle is smaller than the region of cycle C. But if we consider the outside cycle C, we can draw a path between U and V. And now this is a contradiction. Since we can see this cycle, is larger than C. 
So C is not the maximum anymore. But in this case, since G is non-planar, so we need to prevent U and V connect each other without edge crossing. So we have two vertices building here. One is called VI and one is VJ. Then we connect these two vertices by a path P. Then there is a block outside the cycle C. So inside the cycle C, we have four obstruction to show the way how to block UV. Obstru obstruction one, you can find a subdivision of K33. In obstruction two, here is a subdivision of K33 as well. In obstruction three, we also can find the subdivision of K33 in the graph. And for the obstruction four, this is the subdivision of K5. So G does contain a subgraph that is a subdivision of K33 and K5 from the previous four obstructions. So now we prove that the theory is holding and this is all about the proof. Thank you for listening.